Travis Bowman e Brian Patrick Wade foram recebidos em Angra do Heroísmo para uma exibição da futura minissérie Luso, que já existe em formato de filme e livro. Este filme é baseado na história de Peter Francisco, apelidado de Hércules da Revolução Americana. Peter nasceu no Porto Judeu, na Ilha Terceira. Yeah, the story is about Peter Francisco, who was born right here in on the state island in Porto Judeu, but he was kidnapped. He was born in 1760, kidnapped at the age of five years old, but he grows up to be a giant in the U.S. and becomes very, very important in the fight for freedom in the American Revolution. And so George Washington says after the revolution that we could have lost the whole war without Peter. We could have lost our freedom. And so the United States wouldn't even be what it is. Think about that. It wouldn't be what it is today without Peter Francisco, who's from this island of Tercena. That's mind blowing. Após tomar conhecimento da história do personagem e se dar conta que é descendente do herói português, o produtor decidiu investigar mais sobre esta história. About 16 years ago, that I knew when I was a kid that my grandmother loved to tell the story that I was uh, related to Peter Francisco, but it was uh, she didn't know much of the story. So I said, well, I, you know, he's a giant from the American Revolution, and she knew he was Portuguese. Oh yeah, but how big was he? Oh, he was eight feet tall. You know, she didn't really know how tall he you was. Know. It wasn't until I was an adult and I found out that he was six foot six. And I was like, wait, I'm six foot six. And then I found out that Virginia, where he lived most of his life, they actually passed a resolution to honor Peter Francisco on the day I was born, the very day I came into the world. Not like February 23rd, but literally the day I was born, they passed a resolution to honor Peter Francisco. And so that was, that was powerful for me. I'm staying the same height and Virginia passed a resolution And that put me on a journey to tell the story. So I released the book about 10 years ago, and here we are. Bowman deixa ainda um anúncio relativo à vida amorosa de Peter Francisco, de modo a despertar o interesse do público. In real life, he falls in love with a girl named Susanna, but they're not allowed to be, they're not, a, they're not free to marry because he's kidnapped. He ends up being somewhat of a slave and dungeon servant. So he's fighting for freedom, but he's also fighting for the love of his life. Brian Wade, ator que já participou em diversos projetos conhecidos, tais como a teoria do Big Bang e Teen Wolf, conta como surgiu o convite para participar em Luso. Travis um, started talking about Luso the project to my friend and said, oh, I need a really big guy to play this character and I don't know anybody. And so my friend from back home in Florida was like, oh, I have a friend out in Hollywood and he's working now, so maybe you should get in contact with him. So he did, and that was seven and a half years ago. So Travis came out to Hollywood, to L.A., and we met at a Starbucks, and he kind of gave me the pitch, and um, I read his book, uh, read what he had written for as far as a screenplay was concerned, and just kind of fell in love with the story from there, and, and our relationship just kind of blossomed over the last couple of years. O ator revela estar muito entusiasmado para este trabalho. Well, I'm hoping that this will be the biggest project. Um, And this one is so different from anything I've done because I'm also producing this one. Um, but it's just such a powerful project and a project that I feel like, especially in today's time, needs to be told. It's a, it's a story of freedom. Uh, it's a story of, of fighting for true love um, and really just overcoming all of the odds. Uh, you're talking about a little boy who was kidnapped at five years old dropped off on the shores of Virginia in a totally different country, becomes a servant, almost slave on a plantation, and grows up as a servant and never really knows freedom until the opportunity comes to fight for not only his freedom, but the freedom of a country that he's adopted by. Uh, it's just a powerful message and one that needs to be told, especially today. Peter Francisco foi um terceirense que marcou o povo americano. Representar uma figura tão importante é um desafio. Brian describe a sua relação com a terceira. Over the last seven and a half years, I've traveled to the mainland Portugal, but specifically Terceira, probably three or four times now. And I just fall in love more and more every time I come to this island. Uh, the people are wonderful. The culture is amazing. And uh, to represent the people of Terceira uh, through this project is very important to both Travis and I. Este personagem é caracterizado pelo seu intérprete como um homem íntegro e digno. If I could sum Peter Francisco up in one word, it would be character, strong character, having a moral compass, um, always making the right choice, even if it's the hard choice. Com gravações feitas ao longo da ilha, Marcos Couto afirma que estas cenas serão benéficas para o turismo da terceira. 
Eu acho que quando ter, tudo isto terminar, teremos um no turismo, na promoção turística dos Açores, estou convencido que teremos um antes e um depois da, da história de Peter Francisco. Uh, um ano despaltado por todo este esforço que temos feito e os milhões que temos gasto e com os resultados que começamos a ver e depois um pós Peter Francisco onde as pessoas quererão vir uh, principalmente os, os norte-americanos indiscutivelmente quererão vir conhecer onde uh, a ilha e o arquipélago onde ele nasceu de onde ele é oriundo e viver um pouco aquilo que ele viveu na sua, nas, nos seus primeiros anos de vida. Esta minissérie será composta por nove episódios de 15 minutos cada e será dividida por três temporadas.